Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Try Hack Me. Sort of, um, half naked, it's midnight guys, but uh, this is the only time I can record for this one. So today we're gonna do Burp Sweep. We're still in Web Fundamentals. So Burp Sweep is the industry standard tool for web application hacking, essential in any web penetration test. So I reset the Burp Sweep basics. Let's get right into it. I restarted my machine and I'm gonna show split view. I'll probably make it full view for better roof. Okay. All right. So task one, just introduction outline is no answer needed just to load the machine. All right, task two, getting started. What is Burp Suite? So it just talks about what's Burp Suite. As always, guys, I recommend to read through every task. This video is just showing how to answer the questions, but I recommend to fully read through every task so you get an understanding what um, these modules all about. So let's uh, load the burp. Oops, I think that's the wrong one. Well, it's the same one actually. All right, For so task two, answer the questions below. What edition of burp suite will be, will be using in this module? Hint, the task above contains the answer in both text paragraph three. So, We'll be using the Burp Suite Community Edition. Which edition of Burp Suite runs on the server and provides constant scanning for target web apps? So it's probably talking about this one, Burp Suite Enterprise. So there's different versions of Burp Suite. And last question is what Burp Suite is frequently used when attacking web applications and blank applications? Fill in the blank, the question hint. So web applications, testing, it's APIs, stop shop, web app, security assessment, mobile, so I believe this mobile is. All right, let's go task three. I think it's gonna be a long video. How many tasks are there? 15 tasks, all right. Task three, getting started, features of Burp community. Okay, answer the questions below. Which Burp suite feature allows us to intercept requests between ourselves and the target intercept? As you read through, is proxy. Next question, which burp tool would we use if we wanted to brute force a login form? When it says brute force, it's probably intruder. So. I know this is all mumbo jumbo in the beginning right now, guys, but as you practice this Burp Suite platform or app, you'll, you'll get used to it right away. So task four, getting started installation. So this is just talk about installation, but it says note the attack box already has Burp Suite installed. So please feel free to skip this task if you do not intend to use Burp Suite locally. So these modules I always use the attack box, it's just much easier. So you follow the steps, you want to install it on your, in your own computer. So the question is, you have chosen not to use the attack box, make sure you have a copy of Burp Suite installed before proceeding. So complete that. 
Task 5, getting started the dashboard. The question is, open Burp Suite, have a look around the dashboard. Make sure you're comfortable with it moving on. So you can just follow along. I have it right here. So I have a half split, so I can just next start. And full screen probably be better, but still the same. So it talks about the dashboard, splitting the four cart cartridge one, two, three, four. And it talks about different com professional community. So you can just complete. And we can go task six, getting started, navigation. Again, talks about proxy. You just click right here. There's intercept. Windows, detach, all the options. And talks about the shortcuts. And answer questions below. Get comfortable navigating around the top menu bars. Complete again. So task seven, getting started options. So let's change the birth suite to theme, birth suite theme to dark mode. Well, you can see the screenshot. I don't know if you guys can see it, but try to zoom in. Setting bars, so what is it? Dashboard and settings. All right, proxy. Proxy. All right, let's see. Should I see proxy, proxy settings. Proxy, proxy settings. All right, we can go back to settings and you want the dash sweet. Change to dark mode. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it. Settings. User interface display. And dark mode. There you go, dark mode complete. In which category can you find reference to a cookie jar? So I believe it's proxy, proxy setting, cookie jar. There's extension. Browser, no. No. Cookie jar, maybe it's in the let's try a proxy. Headers. It's not miscellaneous. In what category can you write first reference? Hmm. Sessions, there you go, cookie charts. Let's play around it. 
In which base category can you find the updates subcategory which controls the burp suite update behavior? The answer to this question is miscellaneous, then you are using an outdated version. Update the latest version, then search for the answer settings window. So back this out, settings. Startup behavior. Let's say extension. It could have been miscellaneous, but it's not. Now it's extension, there's stubborn startup behavior. Let's see, it's a startup. So update subcategory. Macros connection. It's sweet, isn't it? It's sweet. Right. It's, it's extension, but there's an update. I think I remember that. So the update should be sweet. Next question is what is the name of subcategory which allows you to change the key bindings for shortcuts in Burp Suite? That one I think is pretty easy. Key binding means hotkeys. So if we upload a client side TOS certificate, can we overwrite these on a per project basis, A or A? Search for client TOS certificate, then look at the scopes provide the right side right of the section heading. So TLS. It's client side. Can we all right? Yes. I mean I think we have the option. Yeah, there you go. And it says there are many configuration options available. Take the time to read through them. In the next session, we'll we will cover the burp proxy of much more hands-on aspect of the room. All right, complete. Then task eight, proxy introduction to burp proxy. So I believe we are gonna go the proxy tab most for this. It says, no, you do not need to follow along with this tag, just read information and understand what proxy is used for. So answer questions below, which button would we use to send in inter inter request to the target in a burp proxy? Sent. I think as you read through it, intercept while being stopped. Choose forward, that's this paragraph. We can then choose forward to drop the request. So I believe it's forward, if I remember correctly. Yes. And it says, what is the default key binding for this? Hint, use what you learned in the previous task to look up the key bindings. We use Burp Suite to find key binding related forwarding intercept messages. So it's basically, I believe, hotkeys. I believe it's F for. Yep. So it's control plus. There you go. All right, task nine, connecting through the proxy, foxy proxy. Again, I think this is uh, the Mozilla Firefox.
So it says there are two ways to proxy your traffic through burp sweep. So again, since all instructions will be given with Firefox in mind, as this is the default browser for both Kali Linux and the Try Hack Me attack box. So I believe this is all set up. Let's see. Yep, as you can see, it already has all this info that's set up right here. So, all right, we can close this out. We close Firefox out. Okay, and see. Read the question options below. Read through the options in the right click menu. There's one particular option that allows you to intercept and modify a response to your request. What is this option? So it's talking about this right click. And it says intercept. So this is intercept modify. So this option is response to this request. Let's see bonus question, try installing proxy foxy proxy standard and have a look at the pattern matching features. So the attack box is already installed, so you can just complete this. Or you have you want to install in your own fire personal Firefox, you can just follow through these steps. All right, task 10, proxying HTTPS. It says noted the attack box already configured to solve the problem posted in this task. You are using a attack box and don't wish to read through the information here. You can skip the next task. So you can read this on your own if you like, but I'm just gonna skip this, so. And it says if you're not using a tap box, configure Firefox or your browser of choice to accept port swiver CA certificate for TOS communication due to burp proxy. Complete. So there's two ways. So task eleven, the burp suite browser. So this one's proxy. And we click open browser does not, it says it runs sandbox. Basically showing you how to open it. So project options. Let's see where's project options. Let me see. So I believe proxy options. I believe it's one of these. Or somewhere here, I don't know. There you go, it's Burp Browser. Tools allow Burp Browser to run while sandbox. You gotta click that. There you go. And it says, highlight this. Use the inbuilt browser, make a request to this IP and capture it in the proxy. So I'm gonna clipboard this. All right, it says use uh, off, open browser, on again. My camera's still there. That's still there. Yo, come on. Okay, it's lagging this one. Alright. 
So I'm going to turn it on and hit. Oh, that didn't work. There you go. All right, it's on. There you go. And complete. Test 12, scoping targeting. Scoping. All right, so it's, you follow along, it wants you to go highlight target. So you right click, add to scope. Then, yes. Then it wants to, where it wants to go? Proxy. Let's see, target, yes. Scope, huh? Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah, scope setting right here. Okay, let's try again, scope. I think that's it. Well, next one. So let's go on proxy settings. Okay. Proxy settings. And it wants to click in, I believe. Yeah. Content parameters. And targets and scope. Okay, so add to your scope, IPI and change proxy setting only enters uh, in scope targets. See the difference between the amount of traffic get caught by the proxy before scope. Okay. Let's try again. Make sure you know what. Off, on. There we go. Target. Cool. All right, sounds good. Task 13, site mount and issue definitions. So the question is, take a look around the site and we will be using this IP address, okay. We'll be using this a lot throughout the module, visit every page link from the homepage, then check your site map. One endpoint should stand out as being very unusual. Visit this in, in your browser or use the response section entry. What flag can you receive? You're looking for a suspicious page with a name made up of a series of random letters and numbers. Okay. So we're going to go proxy, turn it off. And it wants uh, this, right? Okay. Okay. All right. Turn it on. So I was talking about, take a look using user response section, targets, okay. Let's see. Um, 
Let's see scope section proxy okay Check every site. Interesting. There you go. This is a lot of sites. Huh. So that's the answer. Teach him. Look through issues definition list. What's the typical severity of vulnerable JavaScript dependency definitions? So it's talking about this vulnerable. JavaScript dependency low. All right, guys. Hope you followed that along. That was pretty decent, easy. And this is task 14, practical example attack. Okay, so take it. Let's go proxy again. Turn off. Okay, that's where I'm at, actually. Or is it take it? Well, you know what? I'm going to just take it right here. All right, let's see. Answer your questions below. T try typing the script right here. So into the contact email, you should find there's a client side filter, which prevents you from adding special characters. So complete. Fortunately, client side filters are absurdly easy to bypass. There are a variety of ways we could disable the script or just prevent it from loading in the first place. Let's focus on simply bypassing the filter now. First, make sure your proxy is active and intercept is on. So, all right, turn is on. Okay. Let's see, enter some legitimate data support form, for example, pen tester at example.com and test attack submit form and the request should be intercepted by proxy by proxy Bam. so with the request capture in the proxy we can now change the email field oops that is a long email field to our very simple payload above using the scripts after pasting the payload we need to select it then url code it encode it control u make a shortcut to make a save to send the process shown in the gif below okay you could do the same thing i'm gonna do the half screen just to follow along uh let's about this one right yeah so you highlight this 
for this one. And it says Control U. Oh yeah, sorry guys, my screen is kind of hazy yellow. It's midnight, <clears throat> so it has a night mode on. So let's highlight. <clears throat> it says finally press the forward button to send the request. You should find you get an alert box from the site indicating a successful cross script cross site script attack. So for all right. I think there you go. Success attack. And just congratulations, you bypassed the filter. Don't expect it to be quite easy, so easy in real life, but this should be hopefully an idea of the kind of situation where proxy can be useful. Complete. And then the last one, task 15, room conclusion. And you just read through it. And the question, I understand the fundamentals of using Burp Sweep. All right, guys, I hope this video uh, find help for you guys. You can share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. As I already shared, mine's on LinkedIn. Uh, you find this video helpful, guys. Please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the notification button. I'm trying to pump these videos. Uh, quickly as possible but I do have a full-time job so I try to do two videos a week three if I have the time for it and yeah currently it's want to tell you I'm not in the IT industry but I'm pivoting to a new career field and this really helps me a lot uh, right now I am CompTI certified a plus, CYSA plus, Network plus, Pentest plus, and Security plus. And I took the fundamentals for fun just cause, because I like learning and they're all active. Um, I should do a video to show you guys how I pass these in a one month or one or two months. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Till next time.